So with Matthew, we are pretty much specifically prepping for two. He has two more events in the season. Um, one is a junior tournament that he's playing in, and one is a uh, bigger amateur tournament for us here locally. Um, so we kind of prep the same way we did for his other tournaments, which is looking at the golf course first, what sort of yardages he's going to play from, um, and then what sort of skills he needs to have specifically for those tournaments outside of just the normal practice, right? Like you always do the same things in your practice to prep just to get better. And then there's maybe specific things you do for certain courses or certain phases of the year. Um, so we're looking at his approach distances on the course. He's a younger dude who's playing at a course that's going to be longer. It's with older people. So uh, for, for the second tournament. So he'll have a lot of longer distances for him. So we're doing from like 150 to 180 up to 200, maybe at max, that kind of zone. I think in a perfect world, if a golfer comes in, unless it's like I'm hitting it fat, thin, whatever you're doing on the range, get onto the course and the environment similar to what you're going to play and see what they do and then adjust per that. Now he's also got to hit the driver well. We've been working on that hard, so that's pretty good now. His putting speed control we've been working on hard, so that's pretty good. So we did a lot of skill work before this before we go out and then we'll continue that same skill work um, but try and get him hitting the clubs he's actually going to hit into the holes. Last year I think part of too we we're doing a little bit of this before you left of like you having to do the multiple ball and shoot under par thing. Mm -hmm. This I want more for like you're going to do the amateur qualifier this year right? Yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> that for you because I think you're going to drive it good. Right? Like to me, your driver's money. So then it's, hey, from 150 to like 180 yards, that zone for your approach shots, yeah. you got to be able, we got to be able to make pars. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That's the next goal. What, what is your goal for the qualifying for this year? <clears throat> what do you want to be able to do? I want to get to the championship. Cool. So that requires us being able to shoot like 80. Yeah. Right? So from the from that zone, from 150 to 170, 180, we have to be able to basically par every other hole. Okay. That's right? par 71, so if you make nine bogeys, you shoot 80, right? Mm -hmm. But that's assuming no goofy set, you know what I mean? Like no, how much is swore? That's like no three putts, that's like no OB, no stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think in our practice, let's go from this zone and make it harder where you got three golf balls and you got to shoot a cumulative even par through those three. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, and we could do it as much as like one over, but I want to do it even par. Okay, we got 152, let's go right from right here. So we're going to do three golf balls, 152. And I want to do one from the middle, one from the right, one from the left. This is nice because there's nobody out here. So what club we got? Six iron. Six iron. And that's a 150 yard club? 60? 50? 50. Okay. So we'll play the first one through. I'm going to just kind of observe. Talk when I think needed. So our goal here is three. We'll play this a par three. Three golf balls, nine total strokes. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. Sit there. There. All right, not bad. Chip and putt. Not bad, dude. Pretty good hit. You hit that pretty solid, yeah? Okay. That's it. Good shots, dude. Not bad. So let's bring a chipper and a putter. Go. Good shot, buddy. What club you have there? Okay. So I don't care what kind of shot you use for whatever kind of clubs if you pull the shot off, right? Now under these circumstances that we're playing in today, which is the ground is wet, the greens are soft, and this sort of circumstance, I don't know that that's the, because you got a little false front here in a ridge, like where were you trying to land that? Okay. Right on top? And then check up and then go, right? So like that's a, that's a harder shot to hit relative to like a probably pitching wedge or nine iron bump and run. Mm -hmm. But 
like a green pond type of course, if that's kind of like what me, for me, then that's kind of my next like mindset for you. You're going to have to hit wedges there mm -hmm. and soft. Everything's going to be hard and firm, right? So we just got to be able to execute that better. But under, if you're playing in a tournament right now, like this, it, would you hit sandwich there? Yes, you would. Don't lie. Mm -hmm. But you probably should hit like pitching lunge nine iron bump and run shot there. You know what I mean? Okay. So we got to probably like go over that a little bit. Okay, let's do the long birdie putt. The speed. I don't, ooh, ooh. You want to try that chip again or what? A little, little, <laughs> not as slow as you thought, huh? Okay, there's one. All right, let's pick them up. I'm going back to 150. Let's do it. So good approach shots there, right? Like under normal circumstances, that shot you hit, your first chip shot should have been your hardest up and down from there. We had two feet. And those other two should have kind of been easy peasy, right? So a little sloppy short game there. That's okay. Now, how many, t how many of these iron shots so far you hit to the right? One? How many to the left? Okay, so like right now you're going at the pin. Are you aiming right at the pin, aiming to the right, aiming to the left? Right at the pin. Right at the pin. Are you just trying to hit a dead straight shot, cut, draw? Dead straight, dead straight okay. <clears throat> okay, so now we have a little bit of a uh, ball going to the left thing happening. Agreed? So, golf ball going to the left, a couple of things. One, uh, why would that be happening? Okay, why? Agreed. Okay, good. So what are you going to do to adjust that? Okay. <clears throat> so let's keep your aim at the target here. In fact, let's add, you see the pole to the right of the, the flag? Or I'm sorry, the, the, the little building in the back? Mm -hmm. And then the, the pole all the way to the right? Yeah. Okay, let's aim at that. And let's uh, uh, shift your swing direction a little bit more to the right, and let's see what happens with that first. Okay, good strike. Basically hit it straight at it. Stay there. Sit. Sit. Okay, we're talking. Look, at, I need you... Oh, yeah, okay. I need you, let's aim just square at it, it's fine, to know that when you start hitting pulls like that, a, that you're hitting pulls, but then B, that it's because you're swinging, the swing direction is too far left, and you got to be able to adjust that <clears throat> on the fly. Now, let's go right at the pin. we got a little right to left wind. Let's just go straight at it. Still shift your swing direction a little bit to the right compared to normal. Yeah, beautiful. That's all that is, dudes. Kick straight. Good shots. Cool? When you're going left, 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 what you can't do is just keep aiming straight and then keep swinging over it and hitting it left. Mm -hmm. If you're not going to fix the, the swing part, then you've got to fix the aim part. Mm -hmm. And you've got to start aiming at the right edge of the green and pulling it back. There's nothing wrong with that. You got me? Yeah. Or you got to fix swing direction. But when you're by yourself, I can't tell you that. If it don't go in the hole, where do we want to putt from? Kind of anywhere, right? We can kind of make a putt from anywhere, but maybe a little bit below the hole, but, but kind of anywhere. Where do you want to land it? Right here, okay. So at this kind of spot now, so like I would actually have you fly something about here and go a little higher, right? Because if you land here and you're a foot or two short, now you're going on here. Is that going to bounce the same? Probably not. So I would go like here and throw some up in the air. Or if you're going to go lower, then you got to, this is too risky to land up that far. So let's go a couple feet on. You got to throw us up in the air a little bit, right? Okay, pretty good. That club face still is not open enough, though. This is another one of those things like the pools. You know what I mean? Let's stay there. I'm going to mark that and bring it back here. Let me borrow that club for a second, sir. Thank you. Okay, so if I was hitting a flop shot from here to there, that kind of lie, my club face would look like that. Okay, come on in there. A little more. Okay. Keep that keep keep that there now. 
at least that open. Go ahead. Yeah. Now the club face is more open, so the ball's gonna go shorter. Obviously, we'll need more just do that again. And you got a stronger grip too, so we gotta hope. Oh. We gotta really open that club face. Yeah, give it a decent, yeah. Open that sucker up. A lot of throw on the way through and speed. Yeah. More. Good. That's better. Too far, but that's the kind of height and trajectory. That ball's got a chance of stopping. With me? You go high, soft like that, that ball's gone. Not bad. A little bit of a misread, but not bad speed. Okay, good putt. Putter, chipper, what do you want? Oh boy. Oh boy. Which one do you want? You want a chipper? You want a chipper? Okay. Chipper you want? Yeah. Okay. This ball doesn't finish inside of a foot. Something's happening. I'm not sure what yet. Run, running a lap, dinner. Big problems. This better go in the hole or within six inches. Or you're doing a lap. You're doing you're doing a lap down number one. Yeah, you're lapping, dude. Stay there. Okay. Now, are you good enough to hit a chip shot from there? Yes, you are. But unless you do something really goofy from here, even though it's wet, even though these greens are whatever, and you take a putter and you aim it in like right maybe here, left edge-ish with that, with normal speed, there's no way that shouldn't be inside of that chip shot. It has a much greater chance of going in. Good. And to me, like, that was, that was a bad putt relative to normal, and that's a foot and a half. Chip shot you hit wasn't that bad. It's three and a half. You know what I mean? You're making yourself work more. If you're this close to the green ever, I mean, I'm putt. Putt, 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 putt. You putt this one. You want to make this one first and then make that one interesting, or you want to make that and then, okay. Oof. Not a bad putt on that line. Okay. Two out of three. So here's what I need you to do now. I need you, I need a lap down number one. I wasn't kidding about that. And then come back. And then I want you to take your bag <clears throat> and take it from 150. Um, is, is your dad coming or is, uh, was him taking it home? Okay. So I want you to do uh, 150 until you can do it. And then I also want you to do 170. So 150, 179 or less. 